Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I know it's been a while since I've done something here on YouTube. So today we're working on fringe earrings, um, something similar to these ones right here. We're gonna be doing something similar to this. Actually, we're gonna do something exactly like this, but in a different color. So last night I was on live and this is what I work with. So today we're gonna be working, um, we're gonna be working with the same thing we worked with last night, but we're gonna be working with fringe. We're gonna do, um, okay, I don't know what's wrong with me, but we're working um, on another fringe earring. I decided to go live because it'll be a lot easier, you know, for me to upload a video here on YouTube since I'm always on TikTok going live. I should tell you what I'm doing before I even started. Sorry. Okay, so what you need to start your fringe earring is some eye pins. Okay, some eye pins. You're gonna need some cones. These are cones, um, they're a half an inch silver plated cones. Like I said, don't forget your eye pins. I do get these ones from Walmart. I do get my cones from, um, the ones I'm working with now, I got them from a friend. You're gonna need thread, of course. So when you first start, what you're gonna do is put your thread through that little circle, the little loop on top. So it's gonna be like this, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and tie one knot. Then you're gonna go ahead and double knot it. I've done so much fringe earrings recently. It's just like, oh my God. Oh, another thing that you're gonna need when you start your fringe earring, this one I'm showing you guys right now, um, you're gonna need some little like beads. You're gonna get beads. Um, these are size 2mm round beads. So these are the ones we're gonna be putting like first. So hold on, I'll show you right now. Hmm. I do have some non copyright music playing in the background. It's not like my regular music I do play on TikTok. Okay, I had to look for my needle. Went ahead and found that. Okay, so I went ahead and threaded my needle. So this little piece of thread right here, I like to burn that. All right, I just burned it. We're gonna go ahead and put your eye pin wherever you feel that is comfortable. And I usually like to put it right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a size 2mm bead like the silver plated, like the ones I showed you guys earlier. We're gonna pick up one of those beads to start off. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pick up six of the red. And then I'm gonna pick up um, two, you know, I should get some more black. Let me get some black beads. This black beads right here is a size nine. That's not, I'm not gonna be working with that. Okay, so I'm gonna be picking up two of the sunset colors. So two black, two 
dark red. To the light red. To orange. To light orange and to yellow. And then we're gonna do that. We're gonna pick up one of the Beagle beads. This is a size 25 mm. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the sunset colors. Okay. So that's how it's gonna look. So on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up 15 of the red. And then we're gonna go back again and pick up the sunset colors. Just repeating the same process. Two. One of the big beads. And so we picked up six at the beginning. Two, three, four, five, six. So right here, what we're gonna do, let me zoom in. So right here, you know where I put the two MN bead? We're gonna go through that bead under. Like, you know where your thread is coming out? So we're gonna go back through it. just like that okay and then we're gonna go through the little loop the little circle right there of the eye pin go through that and then go back down through the silver bead like that This way is a lot easier than the other time I showed you guys. I was telling you guys to tie it, you know, do one knot and stuff like that. I find that this is a lot easier to work with and to do. So let's see. Which way did I do it? Okay, this other way. All right, there it is. Okay. And then go ahead and pick up the beads you need, the same thing, the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one of the beagle beads. I find that it's a lot easier to go like live on YouTube to upload a a video because if I I gotta edit and then I gotta do all that you know the long process and then i have to wait for it to upload to youtube so i'm like you know what let me just go ahead and go live then at the bottom we're gonna go ahead and pick up 15 because when you go live it actually saves your videos three six nine twelve fifteen
And if you guys are not yet following me on TikTok, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I did hit 50K followers last night when I was on live. That was pretty exciting. pick up another fringe and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up through the eye pin no up through the spacer or the bead the silver bead we're gonna go up through that bead like that go through the little loop and let's do this one. let's go through a little loop and oh no you know this is the same thing i did yesterday i forgot this sticks bead good thing i caught it as you can see like right here i forgot the six beads the six um red beads Okay, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's pretty cool because when I'm on live, you guys can see my mistakes, you know? <laughs> okay, then go through the top. And then go back down through the silver bead. back through down through the silver bead I'm like what's going on here okay it's good okay so we need another fringe watching while I clean. Hey, Tabitha, thank you so much for joining. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. I'm just repeating the same process like we did earlier. Hopefully you guys can hear me. And then picking up a big bead. Usually the microphone is like, um, I actually record on my phone. So it's like right by my mouth, you know, where, you know, you guys can hear me. But now I have to turn it in a different direction. So I have to turn it the long way. So it's like not right in my face. the big beads again since this is our last string this is the last one we're gonna need two two and then don't forget the six that I forgot earlier Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, you know, do the same exact thing, go back up through the silver bead, just like that. Hello, Mary. 
go back up through that silver bead like we just did earlier. Now this part, we get to tie it. So I usually like to, it doesn't matter how you tie it. So it went on the other side of the fringes. We don't want you to go on that side, stay on the other side. Okay, so I like to tie a knot first, just one. And then after, I'm gonna go ahead and double knot it. That's one and that's two. And do a double knot again. Okay. Cut off your thread. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and burn off that little part it's right there. Okay, went ahead and burned off that little piece and now we're gonna get your little hat or your cone i call it a hat but it's not really a hat it's a cone this is like i said a half inch go ahead and put that on it's gonna look like that get your two two mm beads two of them you don't gotta pick up two i just like to pick up two There you go. Um, and then get your tool or you know, however you make your little your little um, loop on the top. I do have a one step looper. This is a life changer. Oh my God, I love this tool. This tool is amazing. It's a 1.5 mm um, one step looper. Okay, let's show you. So what I like to do is I like to tug it a bit to make sure that it's really secured. Tug it one more time. That should be fine. All right, so here, let's watch this tool do its job. All right. So this one, that fell off. I don't really need that one. There it is, I made that little loop for me. And like I said, it's, that tool was called a one-step looper. I do like to fix it if, you know, it didn't close all the way. I go ahead and help that. I close that. And there, there's one fringe. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on the next one. I'm gonna do a pair with you guys. And then I should be done for today. All my fringe earrings that I make on like my lives and everything, they're all gonna be in my um, website, like these ones. So this pair I did last night was um, a giveaway pair. Since I hit 50K on TikTok, this was the first giveaway I did. And these ones are, you know, already taken because I did that in the giveaway. So after we did that giveaway, I went ahead and did another pair, which are these, which is like a Cheyenne pink. I finished this on live last night on TikTok. This one will be on my website on Friday. I do launch every Friday at, um, every Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And the size thread I use is a size D Nymo nylon, nylon thread. This is the size thread I use. Okay, so get your eye pin. Put your thread through the eye pin. Tie one knot. And then double knot it. Or, you know, I think it's called a double knot. I'm pretty sure. And then one more double knot. Okay. Then you're gonna cut that off and then you're gonna burn this little piece. You don't have to, but I like it because it like gives me a, like a security to make sure that, you know, I think that it will be fine. So that's what I do. We're gonna do another pair. I mean, another side, not another pair, another side with you guys before I get off. I 
I don't use um, bead wax. I think I need to start using bead wax. The only reason why I never use bead wax is because, you know, my mom never used bead wax ever. All her life she beaded, she never ever used bead wax. So I'm like, you know, I don't need to use it. She never used it. But now when I think about it, I'm like, I think I need to use bead wax. Because when I'm doing flat stitch, it um, gets caught on the, the metal bandings. And it starts to frizz up on me and I'm like, oh no. And so once it frizzes up on me, I get like, um, I just snap it off and then I add more thread. But it's just like, I don't like the frizziness. <gasps> As you guys can see, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the big bead. Okay, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and add the big bead. Now this is what I do. I go through all the beads right here. Go through all the beads. Not this one, I think it's this one. Yes, it's this one. All right, push all those beads down so they won't come off. Get your bead your 2mm bead or wait i thought i picked it up <laughs> your 2mm bead and then add the ones you just did pull out that thread and there it is make sure you put that big bead there i always forget that and it's not me you know a lot of like beaters that do french earrings do forget that bead as well but before that, I would just tie it and continue, you know, and start doing my fringe. Since now I'm adding that bead there and not tying on the top anymore, I always forget it. And um, so I'm actually a fifth generation beater. My mom was the fourth. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. She was the fourth generation. She did pass down her talent to me before she made her journey. And I'm so happy to carry it on, you know, to carry um, our tradition on, our beating. And um, right now I only have boys. So hopefully my boys get into beating because I don't want it to stop since I'm the fifth. But yeah, she was my teacher. I get a lot of questions asking who was the one who taught me and my mom, she was my teacher. Being a little girl running around, you know, and, and um, playing, I would always watch her bead all the time I would just sit there and watch her and then one time she gave me the opportunity to um, bead she's like you want to give it a try I'm like yeah she gave me that one chance and I showed her I can do it and I was so excited so that's how I learned was by watching her and whenever I needed help to add thread or anything like that she was always there to help me But that was his that was who my teacher was was my mother one two three four five six and i've been beating for about 20 plus years now i had a website for about this is my second year with having my website but before that, before I had my website, I was still selling. I was selling, but then like before that, I wasn't really selling. Like before I started selling, I would just help my mom and 
whatever she needed help with, I would help her. Which was like more mostly of like making medallions and stuff like that. She would always ask me to help make medallions. But she she did a lot of um she did a lot of like traditional tea necklace like um she did a lot of um, Apache tea necklaces, Apache capes, and stuff like that. Like she did more, mostly like, and she did buckskins, you know, the Apache buckskins. She made um, moccasins. I just never picked up, you know, how to make like moccasins or buckskins before. But I did um, see her how she attached her tea necklace. I never see how to connect her strand necklaces. I never really watched her on how to do that. I don't have any beagle beads yet. About how many seed beads do you think would equal that size beagle? Um, I don't even know. Let's see. So we'll put them right here. Let's put one right beside it. So that would be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So that's 16 seed beads would be the size of a, this um, beagle bead. I learned and I'm still learning from my mom too. Oh, awesome, Tabitha. Yes, I think that's so cool, you know, when you pick up your um, your mom's work and everything. I picked up her designs, you know, I'm gonna carry on my mom's designs. I have all those two, my oldest beads. Occasionally my middle one is used to beat a lot with my mom and recently said he wants to get back into it. My mom's, oh, awesome. I'm happy that they're picking it up though, you know. My um, my youngest is eight and doesn't really care about it, you know. He does it only because his brother does beats. But his, my oldest son, he really likes to like help, but he gets like frustrated really quickly. He's into like gaming right now. <laughs> Maybe that's why. When two, three, four, five, six. Then go up through this B. So I've been on live for 28 minutes. I don't know why it takes me like, my youngest is a gamer too. Oh yeah, they're, you know, they're so, oh my God, my son, I'm like, Okay, make sure you clean your room. He's like, so he gets, you know, his room. He tries to clean it up really, very, very, very fast so he can get back to his games and I'm like, okay. And I tell him, you know, you should do YouTube. You know, I'm telling him to do things, but he's like, no, I don't want to, I'm shy. I'm like, no one's gonna see you. I said, you're just gonna be playing games. But no, he doesn't want to yet. Maybe later on when he gets older. So I decided to do a live to show you guys um, this fringe earring, which is, you know, with the 2mm bead on top. So it'll be a lot easier. It will be a lot easier for you guys to do. You can make your, you know, fringe earrings as long as you want, you know, like you can make them 12 inches. You can make them 15 inches. You can make them as long as you want. I do these little tiny ones because these ones are on my website. I do have a section for 15 and under. That's where these fringes go.
Okay, we're on our last beagle bead and then do the same thing. So it was pretty much easy, guys, when you guys do a fringe earring. If you guys do have problems, um, go ahead and comment it down in the box and then I'll get back to you guys. Like I said, I I'm very, very hardly on um, YouTube, but I do check like, you know, comments. I'm always on TikTok all the time doing lives there. But I was like, I hit a go on TikTok. I think I want to hit a go here on YouTube now. So since we did our last fringe, we went up through that 2mm bead. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tie, tie it off on the top. Like I said, I do like to tie it one time. And then after that, I like to, to do a double knot. One, two. And then I like to do one more of the double knot. I like to double, I don't even know if it's called a double knot, but. And then I cut this off, burn this little piece off. Just so I know in my mind that it's secured, you know, cause I burned it at the beginning and at the end. I keep mentioning YouTube and mine too. Mines are 26 to 21 and 13. Aww, how cute. Yeah, my my youngest is, my oldest is, um, how old is he, 11? Wait, yeah, my oldest is 11, he loves it. Yeah, I'm thinking they should, you know, because they're like so good at it. When you watch them, I'm like, you're so good at it. Why don't you? But they're like so shy. So I do have, I'm going to put the cone on now. This is, like I said, a half inch cone. Put the cone on. Get two of your two mm beads or one or none, you know, it depends on which, you know, how much beads you want to put on top. Get your one step looper. Like I said, this is a size 1.5 mm looper. Okay, I do like to pull. Good morning, Miss Val. How many pairs are you gonna to make today? Um, I just, I'm just gonna do one. And then, like I said, this remaining, I do like to just throw that away. And I like to fix that. So, I think I would call these, um, <clears throat> let's see, I probably would call them red dress. Let me measure it really quick for you guys. <clears throat> So it's about three and a half if we're going straight from the top, like from the bottom. So about if I'm going right to the top right here, it will be three and three fourths, but I would just call it three and a half. So that is like a three and a half from the cone from the top of the cone all the way to the bottom of the fringe. Thank you, of course. But yeah, this these would be called red dress. And like I said, they're gonna be on my website. I do add items to my website every Friday. Thank you, very nice, thank you. All right, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for joining my live here on YouTube. It's been a while. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to be doing, um, hmm, let's think, let's think. Let's, 
Let's do another wired wrap hoop, but we're gonna be probably working with the 35 mm. So I'm thinking tomorrow, if you guys wanna come join, we're gonna um, work with the 35 mm hoop and we're gonna wrap these. We're gonna wrap all four of them. One, two, three. We're gonna wrap all four of them tomorrow. So if you guys have nothing to do, we're gonna be on live quite a bit tomorrow. So I don't know how many hours it's gonna take me to finish all these ones, but that's what I'm gonna do with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna try to be more active on YouTube as well because I wanna hit a goal on here as well. Until again, we will see you guys. Bye.